So what's up guys, Adam Reacts and Reviews here, and today we are doing my top 6 list of vampires. Now I've been obsessed with vampires for quite some time, and now we're going to do a top 6 list. But before we get into that, we're going to talk about a little bit of origin for the vampires. So yeah, tune in for the list and we'll get on to the origin. Let's get into the origins of vampires. Now, vampires are creatures from folklore. So that means they come from the same folklore as Bigfoot. Uh, if you don't know what Bigfoot is, it's basically a creature covered in hair. looks like a mixture between a monkey and a human, I think. I don't know, but there is... Like, apparently, the fact that Bigfoot exists and stuff like that. But we're not talking about Bigfoot. So, they are classed as undead. So, basically, I would class them as a reverse zombie. That's the way I would, I would probably put it in my head. Because they are... Um, so, like, with an undead... Even though some zombie movies do change the zombie to be adaptive and stuff like that. Vampires are the reverse of... Um, of that so vampires can talk they have all these superpowers and well not superpowers but they do have powers of like hypnotism and stuff like that which i might actually talk about in a future video i'll put that in my uh me list not me list me book or whatever i don't know but yeah they drink blood um i think it's to stay some people say it's to stay young or some people say it's to stay thingy they hate the light they hate everything stuff like that i'll talk about that in another video if you want me to so there are also books aka um one of the best vampire books ever written about bram stoker's um dracula so basically um Bram wrote this story based off of Vlad the Impaler. If you don't know who Vlad the Impaler is, he's known as Vlad the Third of Wallachia. He's also known as Vlad Dracula and normally commonly known as Vlad the Impaler. He ruled with an iron fist, like proper, like, you know, you mess with me, you're going to suffer the consequences. And his favourite punishment was impalement. But, yeah, anywho, getting off track, but... Yeah, and Vlad the Impala was Bram Stoker's inspiration to write the book. It's also in the film as well, so yeah. So that's the origin story. Now we're going to get into the list. So, at number six in the list is Morbius. Now, I'm not talking about the movie starring that idiot who played the Joker and became so difficult to work with that we're not going to mention his name. So Morbius is from the Marvel comics. He's from the comic books. I can't I can't specifically say when he first appeared, but Morbius has been in multiple things, such as the Amazing Spider-Man um, series, where he um, makes takes control of Mary Jane in the Carnage Queen storyline. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of comic books, and Morbius is a vampire, and yeah, he's having a film this year starring the person who played the uh, the really crap Joker um, in that really crap Suicide Squad film, you know that one? That one, yeah, so um, yeah, Morbius at number 6 I think. So at number five is Peter Cushing as Gustav Well um, from 1971's Twins of Evil. Now, what I like here about um, Peter Cushing's um, vampire character is that he has um, a different style to Christopher Lee's uh, thing. We'll get to him in the list, but um, with Christopher, not Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing's um, character from Twins of Evil, Gustav, he um, dresses up like he's from the Georgian era of history. So, like, he dresses like he's 
from the Georgian era of history and stuff like that. It's a really nice look. And his character in that film is kind of a commanding, like he, like he commands and he, he demands and stuff like that. So, like, he's being very, like, knowing that he's a vampire, he can do whatever he wants, basically. But, yeah, um, Peter Cushing at number five, Gustav Well, 1971, Twins of Evil film. Good film. So, at number four, and I could not mention Peter Cushing without mentioning Sir Christopher Lee, who played Dracula in 1958, and he also played Dracula multiple times in the Hammer House of Horror films. Now, Sir Christopher Lee's Dracula is different to Peter Cushing's um, Dracula. Well, vampire thing. Um, his style is more to the effect of classic Bela Lugosi vampire. So, like... He's gone back to the classic look of a vampire, which is a nice dressed up suit, maybe. Like, not suit and tie, like, nice suit, um, a vampire brooch, and a cape. And it is absolutely beautiful that somebody had paid homage to a classic look of a vampire. It's one of my guilty pleasure looks. I do, I do like the guilty pleasure look. It's a guilty pleasure look. I love it, pays homage, and it's also brilliant how this vampire is very, like, smart and calculated. He he knows that he can get a human to do his bidding and stuff like that. So, yeah, number four, Sir Christopher Lee's um, Dracula. We're halfway through the video, and I thought, let's do some honourable mentions. So, honourable mentions go to Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Vampirella, which is a comic book, and Lestat from um, Interview with a Vampire. And yeah, those are the honourable mentions. Um, also, this is your mid-video warning to please... Well, it's not a warning, but um, if you guys want to subscribe, then please do. Um, like the video, and that's it really. Back to the list. So, at uh, number three was Blade. Now, if you've never heard of Blade, he's a comic book from the Marvel series. He's also had three films starring Wesley Snipes. Apparently there was another film in... Apparently there was another film, but I've never heard anything after that. But Blade had three films um, starring Wesley Snipe. So the first one, Blade, in 1988, in not 1988, in 1998. Um, in 2002, there was Blade 2. And in 2004, there was Blade Trinity starring Triple H. Um, that's all I know. Oh, and Brian Reynolds in Blade Trinity. So the reason why Blade makes this list is because he's. He's different. He's not a vampire. He's not a human. He's sort of a... I think he's a hybrid. I'm not too sure. I haven't watched Blade for a long time. But, um, yeah, Blade is a solid vampire. Whether you're reading the comics or watching the films. Um, Del Toro has um, directed one of the films. I think it was uh, uh, Blade Trinity or Blade 2. I'm not too sure. But, yeah. Um, why not Blade? Comic book or movies. Take your pick. Number two. Now, this was a difficult decision. Because I was debating whether I put this first, second. Uh, it was hard, man. But I am going with Count Orlock from the 1922 classic Nosferatu. Now... If you've never watched Nosferatu, it's a silent film. It was meant to be a um, a film about Dracula, but Bram Stoker's widow wouldn't give the um, the rights or anything like that. So they made their own film called Count Orlock, 
um, and sadly, the um, I think it was that the film got um, destroyed um, due to Bram Stoker's um, widow winning a lawsuit. So um, the um, the film got destroyed, but apparently one frame existed, and they were able to find uh, not one film existed and they managed to keep that film and yeah the rest is history so to say but the reason why i like Kent orlock is because he's different he's not he's not looking like christopher lee's um uh dracula he's looking like a different kind of dracula he's got a big head long ears eyebrows you know he's got two teeth at the front and it is absolutely really haunting as well. Like, there's something about this aroma where, like, he's a creature of the night, and we know it. And there are some scenes that you find where he looks directly at the camera, and you can't help but feel scared. But, yeah, uh, fair play to Matt Shrek, who played Count Orlock. And, yes, Count Orlock is number two, so... You're probably going to guess what number one is. So, for number one, I had to keep it classic. I had to go to an original, and that is Bela Lugosi, Dracula, 1931. The reason why I have gone with a classic is because it's Bela Lugosi. It's classic. It's a throwback. It is one of the best vampire films you'll ever watch. Because this goes from the Bram Stoker as well as the Hammer House of Horrors Dracula. But Bela Lugosi has a certain style to his. It was filmed in black and white. It was absolutely put together. And Bela Lugosi had the... How do I say it? The... I don't want to be insulting, but he paved the way for costumes that look like Dracula. So, like, you know, he had, like, the candle um, holder. He had he had the candle holder. He had a nice smart suit with a polo shirt, brooch, nice ca long cape, mysterious aurora about him. And that's what makes me fall in love with vampires, because you don't know what you're going to get. So... Yeah, those are my uh, top six vampires. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And put down your favourite vampires down in the comments and I will reply. Um, I'm off to get a cup of tea and something to eat. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.